In the final stages of our circuit, after we've entered our filter, we still have some ripple in the circuit due to the filter because it does not get all of the values. And so if we want to remove these last little ripples, no matter how small, another component that we can use is a Zener diode. And so what we saw for Zener diodes is that these devices, when they are put in reverse bias mode, will set and sync a fixed amount of voltage. So if this is a five volt Zener diode, it will ensure that five volts is always across the diode. And if it needs to, it will sync any extra current through this circuit. So in our final stage here, we will have a Zener diode that takes our filtered circuit, our uh, filtered circuit, and actually completely regulates it down to its particular level. So this is why in the preceding elements, we want to make sure that the ripple is not too large. So if our ripple is, you know, several volts, let's say that this is up here at 10 volts and this is down at 8 volts. If we put a 5 volt Zener diode here, that is just going to be the voltage and you're going to be wasting a lot of energy and a lot of current trying to drop your ripple voltage back down to the level of the Zener diode. So even though it's the final stage, you want to make sure that when you design your circuit, your ripple is just above this level of wherever your Zener diode is to ensure that you're not wasting a lot of energy getting a nice fixed voltage out of the final stage.